Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can set up your stream with closed captions. We're going to go to the OBS project website and find the closed captioning plugin. I will put the link in the description. Click on the go to download on the top right. This will bring us to a GitHub page. Download the latest release for the platform you have. I'm going to download Windows. Now we're going to go to our downloads folder and find the zip file that we downloaded. We're going to right click on it and we're going to extract it to this directory. Let's go inside this folder and we'll see an OBS plugins folder. Now let's open up another Explorer window to where we have installed OBS. If you see bin data installed plugins and OBS plugins, you're in the right directory. Make sure OBS is closed before you start this part. We're going to take the OBS plugins folder from the download directory and we're going to drag it over to the OBS install directory. Mine says replace the files in the destination, but that's just because I already have it installed. It might ask you for permission to copy the folder if you installed OBS in your programs file directory. Just click on the option that will allow you to copy the files to the directory. That's it. That's all it takes to install the plugin. Now let's start up OBS. In the tools menu at the top, you'll see a cloud closed captions option. Click on that so we can configure the captions. Click on the settings button on the top right, which will open the settings dialog. Let's start with the general settings. Select your caption source. This is the audio input that you want the plugin to generate captions for. This is typically your microphone input. Caption when tells it when it should generate the captions. This can either be the microphone is heard by the stream or when it is not heard by the stream. Select the language you speak so we can caption you correctly. Output to is where it should push the captions. I have mine set to both streams and local recordings. Set the number of lines that you would like for your captions. If you use Twitch, don't check the force line breaks option as it can cause problems. You can turn on or off the profanity filter if you don't want your captions to have any swear words. The caption timeout is how long your captions should show before they will go away. This is if you don't say anything for X number of seconds, the captions will disappear. Now let's look at the transcript settings. These allow you to save an output file of your captions so you can use them in other places like YouTube. You can enable this and set the settings to your preferences and where you want to save them. The open caption settings allows you to select a text source in OBS that your captions will be sent to. This is for services that don't specifically support captions being sent with your video stream. Twitch does not need this. If you use this option, everyone will see your captions and will not have an option to turn them off. Lastly, we have the text filtering tab. This is where you can add word overrides if you notice that the plugin transcribes something you say incorrectly a lot. Just add the word that it hears you saying with the word that you're actually saying. You can click the little button on the right hand side there to remove it too. There you have it. An easy way to make your stream more accessible for people. And all you had to do was download a file, make some settings changes, and that's it. Encourage more people to use this plugin or any other closed captioning plugin to make their streams more accessible for people as well.